This video is for anybody that thinks that if you do 10 to 12 reps, roughly 8 to 10 to 12 reps, is going to help you build muscle in the gym. And I'm here to tell you that you're completely wrong. So to add some context to what I just said, today I'm going to teach you how to strip your ego before you ever get in here. The problem that I've seen many times is that the bodybuilding industry, right, you'll see eight to 12 reps, something in there for hypertrophy, for building muscle, that's kind of what you wanna aim for. I'll see guys in here, they're trying to go for that, let's say they're doing 10 reps in the gym, but their tempo is about one second up, one second down, let's say they're doing a bench press, they're just going like this, and they're like, oh, I hit 10 reps, oh, I hit 12 reps, oh, I'm gonna build muscle that way. The only problem is, your range of time under tension is about 40 seconds to about 70 seconds. So how much time are you gonna be under tension if you were only going one second up and one second down for about 10 reps? You're only under about 20 seconds of total tension. You're only halfway there compared to what you wanna be in order to break down muscle fibers the way that you want them, want to do it. So today I'm gonna to show you a quick little test that you can do to make sure that your ego is not in here whatsoever and that you're not lifting too heavy. Because that's the problem that I'll see too. Guys will like wanna hit those 10 to 12 reps, but they're going way too heavy. They're like, oh, just because they did it doesn't mean that it's good. They're like, oh, I did you know, 10 reps with 100 pounds. I don't care. If all those reps sucked, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna grow. So this is called the stop test. So I'm gonna use the preacher curl today so you guys can see uh, how to do this. So MK behind the screen <laughs> is going to basically tell me to stop at any point in the rep. So my goal is if I cannot stop the movement of this weight at any point during the rep, then I don't have control over the weight. Then I'm going too heavy. So if I'm trying to build strength or other things, obviously this doesn't apply. This applies if you want to build maximum muscle, keep tension on the muscle. So at any point during these reps, I'm gonna see how many I get, I don't even know, but I'm gonna have her tell me stop so you guys can see what this looks like. So you can apply this to any movement. A leg press is also another way to do this if you wanna test your leg strength and your overall tension. So come on this side of me. Tell me when, whenever. <laughs> stop. I'm stopping for about two seconds before I continue moving. Stop. Stop. You can do it faster too, whatever you want to do. Okay, stop. It's, the goal is to surprise me. <laughs> so let's keep tension under the muscle. Stop. Ah. Oh, see how much that fatigue, which is 35. Stop. <laughs> I'll be stopping anyway. <laughs> okay, so finishing the set like that, as you guys can see, like it takes the ego out of it. I was just curling the 50 for about six to eight reps or something there. A little bit faster is working on strength today, but it really kills it when you like hold a dumbbell in your hand. I mean, I was hitting fatigue way faster than I thought I would on this. So realistically, even with a 35 pound dumbbell, it was too heavy for this. So try this test out. And I want you guys to think of me the next time you come into the gym and you're like, I was trying for a certain amount of weight and I wasn't able to get there, strip away that weight. I think about when you walk into the gym, right when you walk in through those doors, it's a force field. That as soon as you walk through that force field, it strips off your ego completely. If you're trying to build maximum and permanent muscle, you have to leave your ego outside of this gym. Even if you get weird looks from people when you're lifting 10 pound dumbbells doing curls, which we'll talk about in other videos, it doesn't matter. As long as you're getting it done in here and getting maximum contractions, that's the most important thing. Your tempo precedes reps. Remember that. If that's a gold nugget for you guys, I want you to comment below and let me know that that was helpful because your tempo will always be the first thing that, that you want to manipulate before you manipulate the reps. I don't care how many reps you do if they all suck. Your tempo is gonna dictate how many reps you do. So if you guys enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more like this, just go ahead and comment below and subscribe to the channel. I'm gonna be doing a lot more videos like this of different movements, things that you guys wanna see. So just go ahead and let me know, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.